In Pierre Park, Troy Landry's deckhand Pickle called in sick. The king of the swamp will have to hunt alone today. I'm too old to be hunting by myself, but it is what it is. Pee Wee got sick. Pee Wee didn't show up this morning, and I'm worried about it because for her not to show up, she really got to be feeling bad. And it's late for me to try to find somebody to help me. All right, I got hooks, I got bait, I got tags. The only thing I don't have is Pee Wee. This is going to be a flashback. It's going to be deja vu. I used to love to hunt by myself years ago. I enjoyed going by myself. It gave me time to be alone and do my work the way I want to do it by myself. There's no other place like the swamps. It's the land that time forgot. You know, if you go in the city and you come to where I live and you take the country roads, it's all different. But when you get out in the middle of them swamps, it's just like it was 300 years ago. Nothing's changed. It's so pretty and peaceful. There's no other place like it. What we got here? Let's see. There's an alligator right there. Alligator of the day without my little peewee. She's fast. She's like a little squirrel in the front of the boat jumping around. And it makes the day go by good. She helps me a lot. This is the first alligator I loaded by myself in a boat, probably in 30 years. Today it's all on me. And no help. <laughs> I gotta I gotta help myself today. I haven't hunted by myself, I bet you in over 20 years. Hopefully it's just for today. Years ago, when I hunt by myself, I was geared up to hunt by myself. My boat was set up to hunt by myself. Now it's not. You run your line, you set your line in the front of your boat, and I'm driving from the back, so it's a lot of traveling back and forth. I got a much bigger boat now, and you can't run your lines from the back. It's too close to your propeller. If you got an alligator on a line and you try to get too close with your boat, then you're going to cut the line in your prop and lose your gear. I don't see the line, I don't see nothing. Oh, oh, I see splashing. We got chunk. Ooh, we got a big one here. He's wrapped up, he don't have no slack, he's gonna pop it. Ooh, nice out of kid. Fun begin. I don't know how the hell I'm gonna get him in the boat. Where the hell is Pee Wee when I need her? All right. All right. I think I got him. I think I got that big boy. Ooh. I'm wore out. Ooh. He's heavy. This 11 and a half foot behemoth is a good catch. But for a solo hunter, loading it in the boat is a true test of strength and stamina. He's a big boy. I really, really miss Pee Wee. If I thought she was feeling better right now, I'd go run to the boat ramp and get her. I'm gonna let her rest. Hopefully, she'll be back tomorrow. Oh, I'm definitely not the bumblebee I used to be. Last line, thank you, Jesus. 
I was hoping to have a bad day today, but I'm actually catching pretty good. I'm catching more than I would like to catch. And I'm beat. I mean, I'm wore out. Alligator hunting is hard. It's hard on your body. It's hard work. It's heavy work every day. Every day, every day. But it's also, it's a, you got to get a game plan. It's mentally challenging. Ooh, we got a big one here. Ooh, he looks like a nice one. He's a big boy. He's a big boy. It's a big, it's a big one. Oh, no, he's gonna pop the line, he's gonna pop it. That's a big alligator. With his last gator on the boat, Troy has a renewed respect for solo hunting. When I see Pee Wee, I'm gonna give her the biggest hug I ever gave her because I really missed her today. I missed her big time. I didn't have nobody to yap to. I didn't have nobody to fuss. I didn't have nobody fussing me. And most important, I didn't have no help. I had to do it by myself. 